it, let it, let it, let it, let it, bang, bang. I'm here to teach you how to ravage your tank. Now, this all starts with the weapon Ravager. This drops from Herod, the last boss in Scarlet Monastery Armory. When it procs, it does weapon damage plus 5 to every mob around you for 9 seconds, hitting a total of 3 times. That's 3 melee attacks against any mob within 8 yards or so of you. You can't ask for more AoE threat than that. A little tip for getting this as a warrior is make your own group. Fill it with casters, that way when it drops, you're the only one who can roll on it. Arms Warrior tanking while leveling is already good, and the Ravager brings this to a whole new level. Combined with abilities like Sweeping Strikes, Whirlwind, and Cleave, you have a pretty good chance to proc Ravager on packs of mobs. Now let's get into it. This is what a textbook pull will look like on a pack of mobs. First off, you want to charge into a pull whenever possible, as you'll want the extra rage that charge gives. Now let me slow it down for you. The pull looks like this. Charge, into blood rage, into first melee white hit, into sweeping strikes. Then you have two options. If you have 25 rage still at this point, maybe from a melee white crit, you can go berserker stance whirlwind right away. If you don't have 25 Rage, go Berserker Stance, Berserker Rage, which will give you a little extra Rage from damage taken, and then Whirlwind when you have 25 Rage. And with any luck, you'll have a Ravager proc at this point. Razorfin Downs is the perfect dungeon for this, as all the mobs are grouped up into packs. When you want to connect two packs into one pull, or in dungeons with spread out mobs, make use of Intercept. Now, Whirlwind is a really important ability here, as it hits four targets, giving you four chances to proc Ravager, or eight chances if you have at least four charges of Sweeping Strikes up, all for the cost of 25 Rage. Now, if you remember from my example of a textbook pull, there will be some times when your first white hit gets dodged, blocked, parried, or misses. In these circumstances, I will skip Sweeping Strikes and go directly for the Whirlwind, hoping to get a Ravager proc. The Ravager proc itself lasts 9 seconds, and Whirlwind is a 10 second cooldown. So if Ravager procs off Whirlwind, you will be able to Whirlwind again shortly after it ends. But wait, there's more. Ravager can proc itself. The more mobs you are spinning on, the better the chance for this. But you can easily spin a whole pull if you have enough mobs to hit. It is important to not interrupt the Ravager proc. It will happen to you, but there are ways you can mitigate this. Try not to use any abilities as your auto attack is happening. If you see in the bottom middle of my screen, I have a blue bar that shows me when my next auto attack or cleave is coming. Ravager proc will get interrupted if you use an ability while it is channeling. This add-on I used is called Weapon Swing Timer, and you can get it wherever you get add-ons. Sometimes you get lucky and Ravager procs off your first hit. This is your best case scenario, use it to your advantage. There may be pulls when Ravager doesn't proc at all. Just remember, you're still an arms warrior. Sweeping Strikes Whirlwind generates a lot of AoE threat, even when it's not followed by Ravager proc. Make use of your taunt abilities as often as you can. You can challenging shout on big packs when you can't get a Ravager proc. Also, help your healer and casters out with stray mobs by using Mocking Blow or Taunt. And who doesn't love a challenging shout retaliation combo? Sometimes, Ravager will proc later in the pull. Even if you're only hitting two mobs, it's still great damage. It's the same as getting a cleave off every auto attack, but faster, as it happens every 3 seconds and Ravager's attack speed is 3.5. If you're rolling with casters primarily, there will be some downtime while they drink. Have food to eat to help your healer. Also, a nice trick is to kill a critter before a pull for extra rage. Thank you for watching my guide. I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to talk to me in real time, you can find me streaming at twitch.tv leecherboy, link in the description. And as always, happy gaming.